Hey guys, Jesse from Full of Strength and Conditioning here uh, with tip number 25 of my 90 fitness tips in 90 days. This is actually a take two. Um, had a bit of a connection error on the last one, so I only recorded about half. So I can't leave you guys hanging with three minutes um, worth of content with the majority of the good stuff towards the end. So I'm going to redo it. I'm going to quickly go through it again. Um, so the topic of the day is muscle soreness. Is it good? Is it bad? Um, and should you be chasing it? So muscle soreness, this is something that um, there's a bit of a divide with uh, people wanting or searching for muscle soreness. Um, I'm here to tell you that muscle soreness on its own is not an indicator of progress. Okay, Being sore after a heavy training session is not a good way for you to tell if you're making progress or not. Okay. All that is telling you, if your body is sore, all it's saying is that you've given it something that it hasn't done in the past, okay? So it's, muscle soreness occurs when you provide your body with a different stimulus to what it's generally used to. And what I mean by that is, um, let's take, for example, someone who does a five kilometer run. If they do a 5K run on a regular basis, their body's going to become accustomed to it and it's going to adapt. Okay, the body's going to become more efficient at that specific task of running five kilometers. When you change the stimulus or how you go from getting from zero kilometers to five, that's when you might start to see some muscle soreness. So say if you habitually, if you're always running on a flat surface, and let's just say you get there in 30 minutes. If you get there from zero to five Ks, 30 minutes, every single time, same distance, same route. Um, when you change that, Let's say you go from a flat running surface to an incline, or if you go hills, you're providing your body with a different stimulus, a different uh, environment, which it isn't used to. That's going to leave you with a little bit of muscle soreness, a little or possibly a lot, depending on your, uh, your body and your training experience. The reason for this is that you're, you're changing the environment. Okay, so you're changing the grade. Instead of being on flat, you're going hills, you're going, maybe you're doing sprints, maybe you're doing some far leg work where you change the speed uh, and the intensity periodically. Okay, um, so that's just, that is one occurrence or one way that you can stimulate or cause muscle soreness. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're getting better, it just means that you're doing a different training modality or style than your body is used to. Okay. So muscle soreness occurs when we do something that the body's not used to. Say, for example, we take the run, we go, we do grades uh, or hills, and we do sprints, things like that. This is also pretty common in the weight room. So when you do weights, if you are doing the exact same program over and over and over again, the chances are you won't be sore from training, which isn't a bad thing. The body's become accustomed the tendons, the ligaments, the joints, the muscles, they're accustomed to that specific workload. They know how many reps they need to do, at what force, um, and at what speed. As soon as you challenge those uh, variables, the body freaks out in a way because you're placing a different stress upon it. Okay? So whether that be in the form of you lifting heavier weights, performing more repetitions, or changing the speed, you might choose to go faster or you might choose to go slower. These are different um, variables that you can change and play with to elicit muscle soreness. Okay, it'll cause muscle soreness because the body isn't used to it. However, this muscle soreness that you've created does not mean you're getting better. All it means is you're giving the body something different to what it's used to. Okay, so if you want to be able to gauge and see progress, am I getting better on a week to week basis? Your best bet is to actually use um, hard facts and data. I did this exercise for this amount of reps at this weight. Then you might see in two weeks time, you did the same exercise for this amount of weight or this amount of repetitions. That is how you can actually gauge progress. Pulling up super sore after training doesn't mean shit. It does not mean you got better. It does not mean you got worse. It just means you've done a different style of training that the body hasn't had a chance to adapt to yet. If you were to repeat the same cycle or that different training style, I'm sure your body would adapt to it and the muscle soreness would reduce each and every time that you do it. So for those of you who chase muscle soreness, my advice is to stop. 
It doesn't mean you're getting better. It just means the body's not used to what you're throwing at it. If you want to see constant progress periodically over time, record your training stats, distance, time, grade, speed, reps, everything. If you can improve on those numbers, then you have hard facts and data to back up where you are and where you're going, okay? So muscle soreness, it's not a bad thing, it's not a good thing, it's just your body's way of telling you you've done something different, you've given it a higher workload or higher um, intensity training session than what it's used to, okay? If that doesn't make sense or you want some further clarification, guys, please comment below. I'll happily answer any and all questions um, and I'll get back to you. So recapping, muscle soreness isn't a gauge or an indicator of progress. An indicator of progress would mean you're doing more reps, more sets, more weight, something along those lines, okay? That's it guys, tip number 25. Don't always have to be sore after you train, nor should you chase it. It just means you're challenging the body more than what it's used to, okay? Enjoy the rest of your Friday, guys. I will see you tomorrow for tip number 26. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and share it forward so someone else can benefit. All right, we'll see you tomorrow, guys. Bye-bye.